hello cat thanks for all your effort to send your work in i'm sorry it was so frustrating i think this is a great solution though putting it in the dropbox if you just let me know what dropbox then um that's really easy for me to go and retrieve it so that's great so I'll just go over some of the questions here, and this is really helpful for me in terms of marking your quizzes and things because uh, question one was fine. We won't bother with that one. You got it right. But question two, um, seeing that, like explaining your thinking here, I was assuming a, a rectangular table. For a round table, it makes sense that uh, you would divide by six because all of the configurations would sort of almost repeat themselves um, because it's there's no end and no beginning to the circular table. If it was a rectangular table, um, it would be a little bit different because you would sort of have one person at the head of the table and, and so on. Um, and so because you can sort of identify the, the seating positions as being unique in, around the table, I would not have divided by six, but because you're explaining your reasoning here and that makes sense to me, then I'm going to give you the mark for that one. So we'll add another mark into that because I think I gave you one mark. No, I didn't. I'll add in two marks. I'll give you two more marks for that one. Okay. All right. Question three was correct. Uh, it's just that the computer answer is actually programmed as 4 to the exponent 4 rather than um, the expanded version. Uh, so 4 to the exponent 4, which is equal to 256. So that's the same thing. And so I've already gone in and added marks in for you for that one. And uh, number four was correct, and you already had that one marked as correct. So that's great. Okay, so let's have a look at question five, I think is the next one um, where you lost marks. So one of the things that you have to be careful about here is that your statement here, your original equation, you're talking about probabilities, and so you're using the um, addition um, principle um, for probabilities here, the addition rule. And these are not mutually ex exclusive uh, events because there are people who speak both languages and so you've indicated that um, in your first statement which is correct and then in your second statement um, instead of probabilities what you actually did is um, is you did the um, just the numbers of people and so if you work that out as probabilities instead um, then I think you'll get a slightly different answer at which point if you take a percentage of the 65 um, that are left in the complement, which is the people who don't speak um, one language or both languages because it says that they would speak neither, um, and then I think you'll get a different answer for the number of employees, okay? Um, I agree with you on the wording here. I don't understand why it's or why it's asking for counting notation. I don't think that's what they, they meant. Um, I think what they meant in the question there was that um, they wanted you to use the um, pr uh, probability principles or the addition properties of probability for this one. Um, not really sure how you do it using counting notation to think of it. Um, I have to give that one a little bit more thought. For the last uh, question, for number eight, number seven was fine, um, number six was fine, sorry. Uh, for eight, um, for the Pascal's triangle, there's a couple of different ways to do that. Um, y using the triangle, you can go down to the seventh row since we're choosing seven marbles from the, from the total. Um, if you add up all of the numbers in the seventh row, you'll get 128, which is a total number of ways to choose the seven things. Um, if you don't want to use Pascal's triangle, um, since there's two different colors, you can do two to the exponent seven as well and get the 128 that way. Um, that's for the permutations. For the combinations, all you need to do there is just consider the number of possible outcomes. If you're choosing um, seven, you could get all white um, or all black, and then you can kind of go across, um, it's kind of like the binomial expansion where you can get like one black, six white, two black, five white, and so on. 
If you work that out, there's a total of um, uh, eight combinations that you can have for um, what? choosing two. I'm making a video, honey. Two, uh, choosing two from the uh, total number of, uh, of marbles just because of the two colors, okay? Um, so I, I hope that that goes, um, I hope that that helps you with some of those. I appreciate the feedback that um, you don't think there's enough practice on the Pascal's Triangle. I'll definitely go back and look at that section. Um, this is a course that I am rewriting over time since I took it over from another teacher and uh, so the feedback is really helpful and I certainly, um, I'll go back and look at that and, and I won't um, take marks away from you if I don't feel like there was enough instruction on that section for the Pascal's Triangle there, okay? So I hope that helps and I'm going to um, adjust your mark according to what we discussed here on the video. And you should be able to see your quiz mark um, by going into the user progress. Um, and that is up um, using the toolbar at the top of the, uh, of the web page on the home page. And I will also send you an email with your, um, with your mark in it. Okay, thanks.